So let also discuss about VRRP version 3 or a virtual router redundancy protocol version 3. Version 3 support many type of interface like Ethernet family where we have a Ethernet, fast Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet and so on. Bridge group virtual interface or BVI, MPLS VPN, VRF aware MPLS VPN in VLANs. So using this interface we can go for first half redundancy. It also support IPv6 addresses. So there was a drawback in VRRP version 2. We cannot use the IPv6 address. But in VRRP version 3 we do have. The things which make unique VRRP version 3, it also support the secondary IP address for first half redundancy or a first half redundancy. So let's say if we have a gateway, it could be layer 3 switch or a router and we have an interface. On particular interface, we can assign one primary IP address in multiple secondary IP address. So if you're talking about rest of protocol like GLVP, VRRP version 2 or HSRP, they only use the primary IP address whatever you have configured on the interface. They're not going to use the secondary IP address but, but in case of VRRP version 3 we can go for it. So because of we, we, uh, because of we can configure or we can use the secondary IP address, we can go for multiple subnet first half redundancy protocol or we can perform first half redundancy for multiple subnet using the secondary IP address. So as I discussed, uh, since we can assign multiple secondary IP address, we can go for uh, first half redundancy for multiple subnet as well or a network. So first we need to define address family. So you may looking for a configure IPv4 or IPv6. Before going to the assign virtual IP address, you need to define for which address family you are looking for. So it could be IPv4 or IPv6. As well as it allow to configure both address family on same group. Which basically means if we have a group number 1, we can configure IPv4 or IPv4 address family as well as IPv6 address family on same group. But we cannot configure on, we cannot configure this thing on GLBP in GLBP and HSRP. But in VRRP version 3, we can, we can configure. Likewise, VRRP version 3 need to enable globally. So in HSRP we saw on uh, based on interface we need to enable version 2 or version 1 but in case of VRRP version 3 it going to enable on globally not, not on the interface basis. VRRP version not support authentication. So actually sometimes it makes sense. So suppose if we have a two gateway connected to the LAN and maybe we configure authentication on particular group. What happen if authentication is mismatch? Every gateway going to work as a master. So currently I am responding ARP request as well as the second device going to respond ARP. Because their password is different from each other. So both device or a gateway going to treat as a master. So they're going to create a black hole in network. Because of that in VRRP they removed authentication. Rest of thing going to be the same. So uh, take a look on a CLI in order to verify this version. So my devices is up and working and before going to the actual configuration let you know here I am going to use two router as a gateway and one switch as a host as well as a switch. And I believe VRRP version 3 going to support with iOS 15.0 at least. So on router it is running 15.2 on all switches it is running 15.0. For switches it doesn't matter actually. So let us go through the configuration, uh, there we go. on branch router go to globally first half redundancy protocol and then version 
for VRRP, we are going to use version 3, which support IPv4 family as well as IPv6. So same thing, let me copy and paste on this router. Likewise, going to use interface geek0 slash 0, which is connected to the LAN and IP address is 1.1.1.1.255.255.255.0. Make sure the interface is up and then after VRRP using group number one and first we need to define address family. So uh, what address family we going to use for IPv4 or IPv6. So let's say IPv4 and then after using address command we uh, need to define virtual IP address. So virtual IP address is going to be 1.1.254. Likewise, on this router, interface is 0 slash 0, IP address is 1.1.2.255.255.255.0, no shutdown. In your case, you may have a latest switch or a latest iOS on your switch so that you can configure VRRP version 3. So, command going to be the same, so you don't need to bother a lot. Likewise, VRRP group number 1 address family going to be IPv4. Okay, and then after address 1.1.1. Excuse me, 1.1.254. So let's say which let's see which router is currently working as a master and which is a backup. So do so VRRP. I believe this router is working as a master. Do so VRRP. Uh, this is the virtual IP address 1.1.1.254 and I am the working as a backup and let's say assign IP address on switch VLAN number 1 IP address is 1.1.1.10.255.255.255.0 no shut down. So let's ping to the gateway which is 1.1.1.254 who going to respond? Verify debug IP ICMP. Let me debug this. Debug IP ICMP. So obviously router one going to on the virtual IP address in virtual MAC address. So router one should going to the respond of ICMP as we can see. Likewise, we can go for IPv6 configuration. So on same group, we can configure IPv6 as well, or both family as I uh, both address family as I told you earlier. So let's say in this time VRRP group number one and address family IPv6, and then after address going to be FE80, let's say colon colon one, and then after we also need to define. Are you going to use primary or secondary? So it is also true with uh, it is also true with address family IPv4. In IPv4, let's say if we're going to assign an address like 1.1.1.254, then we need to define if we're looking for the secondary IP address. By default, it's going to use primary. So same thing going to be on IPv6 as well, but in IPv6 we need to define. So FE 8, 0, colon, colon, 1, and this is going to be primary. Likewise, on other router, interface v0 slash 0, vrrp using group number same. Address family, in this time we're going to use IPv6, and then address will be fe80, colon, colon, 1, and this is going to the primary. If we're looking for configuration in, uh, if we're looking to use secondary IP address in uh, HSRP, VRRP version 2 and GLBP, uh, GLBP, it is not possible. But in VRRP version 3, it is possible as we discussed. So let's verify the rest of the configuration. So VRRP, now we can also define for which address family we are going to looking for, IPv4 or IPv6. By default, it's going to show both. So let's say, let me squeeze the window so that we can see all the things. Let's say, for IPv4 address family, I am the master. 
as well as for IPv6 address family, I am the master. Likewise, on other router, do so we are RP. For address family, IPv4, I am the backup. Likewise, for IPv6. So, rest of thing going to be the same as I discussed or as I told you earlier. So, we can use uh, both both address family on same group which is not possible in GLBP let you show so interface git 0 slash 1 and the GLBP group number 1 and then after let use IP address 1 dot in this case let's say 2.2.2.254 and if we going to use address family version 2 excuse me address family IPv6 it's supposed to going generate an error message as we can see currently we are using IPv4 address family in this group so we cannot use IPv6 but in case of VRRP version 3 it is possible so these things make unique VRRP version 3 which we can configure in layer 3 switches as well as a router but I believe iOS should be 15.0 0 or above. So this is all about VRRP version 